Dr. Trent. I have new information about the Proteus Dome and Governor Takagi. It is imperative that you return to Kyoto as soon as possible. Okay. That sounds good. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Freelancer. Well, as you can see, we need to head back to Kyoto. Apparently they have some new information for us. Now on my way back, I'm going to double check these fighters just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Because I'm, I'm, I really think that I did. Uh, so I want to just double check and make sure that I got all of them. Yeah, that's my new places. Okay. Because there's, there's a couple things that I, I swear I forgot to pick up. So I'm going to head over there, uh, check it out, and then I'll give you a report once I get over there. Okay, let's take a look here. Aha! Yeah, I thought there was some more there. Yeah, some scramblers there. That's what I was looking for. Okay, very good. That's it. I thought there was some more over there. Let's see what those scramblers do. He yeah, has a little more class 6 weapons. Okay, good. Yeah, 131. That's not bad. I don't think they're as good as my... Yeah, they're about the same as the dust doublers. This is more of a... It's a different type of weapon, though. So Okay, so I'm going to take the jump hole, and I'll just meet you back on Kyoto once I'm done with that. Whee! All right. Here's the Kyoto base. Very good. And, first, and we need to meet Ozu in the bar. Before doing that, um, I need to repair my ship. Actually, I need to spend a little bit of time here at the equipment dealer. Because, now that I'm at level 16, I can buy class 6 equipment. Including class 6 shields. And I believe... Yeah, I had to go through some radiation fields. So unfortunately, we got our butts kicked there. But that's okay. But I believe they have an upgraded shield here, if my memory serves me correctly. Aha! Yeah, they have a class 6 shield here. So let's go ahead and sell my class 5 shield. Pick up the class 6 shield. Yeah. Okay, so look at this. Hoo-hoo! Big increase from 5 to 6. Yeah, that's terrific. Definitely want that. Um, I believe advanced thrusters... Oh. Did I not have a better thruster? Oh, thruster drain. Oh, yeah, never mind, never mind. Okay, drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Um, anything else I want to get while I'm here? I don't think so. I believe my weapons are all good. The Dublin Duster is essentially and it's another version of the of the Scrambler 2. So, or, or the Scrambler 2 Rattler is just another version of the Dublin Duster. They're exactly the same. Um, now, you also have the Sun Fairy 2s. If you want, you can put those in there just because they do a lot of damage. Uh, or, or that you can fire them real, 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 real quick. Um... Might not be a bad idea to throw those on, actually, just so I can get a better, wider range of. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna exp I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna throw those on the Sun Fury twos, just so I have a wide variety of weapons because they actually hit pretty well. I'll try them, and if for some reason it isn't working out, I'll just throw the Dublin Dusters back on. But let's throw the Sun Fury twos on there one, just so I have a wider range of. Yeah, because they hit 65 at 8.3, which is pretty good. I mean. They can fire off real quick, and they don't have a whole lot of energy, so we'll try them. Again, if I don't like them, then I'll just uh, swap them back on for the for the uh, double industrious a little bit later. Okay, very good. Ship is repaired. All is good. Let's go to the bar. I'm glad you have arrived. I have news. As we feared, Governor Takagi is indeed alive. I am told that he has secretly left the palace and has moved the artifacts to his fortified retreat, a remote planetoid with many defenses. But I have come up with a plan that should get us both what we want. Shall we proceed? Sounds good. I got nothing else to do. Let's do it. It will be heavily protected and it will be difficult to get into the complex. <laughs> How hard could it possibly be? Come on now. Okay, let's do it. Have you told Junie yet? This is for us alone, Mr. Trent. I see. Come, we have no time to waste. My attack squad is ready. I'll brief you in space. Not telling Junie, eh? Seems kind of shady to me. However, our work is never done. 
and we really don't have much of a choice. Mostly because this is how we advance the plot, but also because maybe Junie doesn't need to know about this. Hmm. All right. Well, anyways, let's go. All right. So we got to attack the base in the Tohoku system. Okay. Sounds good. Freelancer Alpha One Dash One. This is Kyoto. You are cleared for launch. Terrific. Good flying. Mr. Trent, my informants report that Takagi is preparing to leave his fortress. We have a little time. Takagi's arch is only one system away from here, in Tohoku. The Blood Dragons discovered a jump hole to there over 20 years ago. I'm uploading the coordinates. Alright, sounds good. Oh, there it is. It's like, where the heck are we going? Okay, cool. Let's head over there. That's starting to get pretty interesting. Yeah, good supply, good supply of shield batteries and nanobots. Yeah, I'm in good shape. Catapult missiles, yeah, all the, all the, all the works. I still don't know why Junie's. Trent, Ozu, I heard you leaving. What's going on? We are attempting to retrieve the Proteus Tome, Junko. We're flying to Takagi's arch. No, that's suicide. The arch is too well defended. This is our last chance, Junko. Takagi is leaving for Rhineland. There must be another way. We have decided to attack Takagi's base with full force. We will find the tome and kill Takagi. Wish us luck. Ozu out. Just don't get yourselves killed. We're approaching the hole now. It will bring us very close to his base. There it is, Mr. Trent. Go ahead and jump. A fighter wing is awaiting us on the other side. Okay. Dog. Sounds good. Now we know why he didn't tell Junie anything. See, so it all all makes sense in video games eventually, doesn't it? But either way, here we are. Report. There is a lot of activity in this system, Lieutenant. Takagi has drastically increased his patrols within the last few hours. It almost seems like he is expecting an attack. We're flying to a nearby outpost of the Blood Dragons. I'm uploading the coordinates. Mr. Trent, take the lead. We'll follow you. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Looks like we're gonna... Dock. Dock and figure out our we next move. We have to be careful. This system is littered with hidden defense systems and patrol wings. No contacts so far. Maybe we're lucky. Hmm. That's cool. Looks like we'll get to launch and... Outpost Ryuku, this is Lieutenant Ozu. Lieutenant, we have monitored your operation and are standing by. Our forces are at your disposal. Long-range radar indicates that there are a large number of ships assembled in the area near the arch. It appears Takagi is leaving his fortress. If Takagi escapes, we'll forever miss our opportunity to retrieve the tome and end that demon's life. We have to hurry. We are uploading the coordinates of the arch into your neural net. Long live the dragons! Dragon 2, you know his base defenses. What is our best option? You and Mr. Trent should approach from beneath the base. Located there is a large cylindrical stabilizer used to reinforce the structure of the planetoid. The safest approach would be through this opening. We will attempt to occupy his forces and draw them away from the base. That should buy you enough time to break in, hopefully unnoticed. Uh oh that's not good all right now we have a large task force to deal with but that's okay all right let's go now do not be afraid in this part here to get out of the way and let uh, let the oh let the other uh, ships deal with these guys as much as possible. Now, we don't, but you can't get, but you can't get too far away because yikes! You can't get too far away, otherwise you'll fail the mission. So it's kind of weird. Now, what you want to do here is once you want to make passing moves, basically. 
You want to make uh, passes at these things, and then um, once they're out, of, once they're out of shields, crap! You want to use your catapult missiles to try and take them down. They also want to try and not use as many of your shield batteries as possible because we have a lot. We have a long battle ahead. Uh, yeah, so basically, and I'll, I'll try and show you here. Okay, so once, once, you, once you can reduce their shields. Shield fails. Huh? Let me see if I can reduce this guy's shields. Get back. Once the shields are reduced, fire missile, boom! Take him down. That's basically how it works. Now, hopefully, when you destroy them, you'll you'll get some of your shield batteries and nanobots back. But it's not, oh, but it's not a guarantee. Now, the catapult missiles will, as long as they have no shields, they will probably take down. Uh, if it connects, will will pretty much take down a ship, which is good. Okay, there's only two left. Terrific. Like if you have help, you might as well use it. All right, one more. Don't be afraid to use missiles, it doesn't matter. Got it! Whew! All right, very nice. Now, on my way out there, I am not going to cruise out there because I want to take as much time as I can to let my shield naturally regenerate. Um, because that's, that's important. You want to try and conserve shield batteries and nanobots, because trust me, you're going to need them. Okay, very good. Let's see if we're going to make it. Ah, there it is. Mr. Trent, this is the Tohoku Planetary Arch. Once one of the wonders of Kusari ingenuity. Now it is a fortress of deceit and evil. Dragons, proceed to the target. All right, let's do it. Now, okay, now you'll notice that a battleship has entered the area. However, we don't want to do anything with that. What we want to do is focus our attention on the shield generators. You'll notice here just a little bit that a bunch of them are going to come up. I'm going to go ahead and afterburn over there. All right. Now, you'll notice that we have some... It's not going to do it, is it? Fine. There we go. Okay, you'll notice that we've got some shield generators there. Now, what you want to do... Okay. I am picking up several contacts. Now, a we lot of ships are going to come in. Unfortunately, we can't deal with them. We need to focus on dealing with the shield generators. So just use drone mines, try and stave these things off. Use your drone mines. Hold them up. Because basically, we need to take out the shield generators. Because if you start to go for the ships, uh, you're going to get a, a game failed message. So we got to go for the shield generators, unfortunately. Then just make multiple passes. Take them down. You, you, you're kind of on a time limit here. But as long as you start taking out shield generators, uh, you're okay. Come on. Damn it. Lieutenant owes you. Make your run. We got the first one. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be kinda quick. Go! Like I said, you're on, you are on a bit of a time limit. So that's a little bit. Okay. The battleship is the most difficult. Obviously, because it's the most heavily generated, most heavily defended. Go. Three down, one to go. Don't, now, here's where... Don't be afraid to use your batteries, your shield batteries, nanobots, if I can freaking see straight. Jeez. Get out of there. Damn. Okay, come on. I'm almost done. We lost another ship. Ozu, you have to get into the arch now. We can't hold them back. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. This is Dragon One, ready to assist. Almost. Quick, land on the arch. Got it. Dragon One, we 
must take out these gunboats at all costs. Understood. Long live the blood dragons. Phew. Okay. Good Once you're done, just click dock. Meet you on the deck. Dragons engage. Once you're done, just click dock, and then click the waypoint dock, and you're good to go. Man, that was scary. Do you think Takagi's gone? We'll soon find out. Some plan. Just shoot everything. I could have done that myself. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. The tome? There. Now for Takagi. Think it will be that easy, do you? Well, as you said, sometimes the simplest solutions. Neural gas. Locked. Not for long. Stand back. <laughs> Breathtaking, isn't it? It is one of a kind. Much like this. You and your dragon friend here have broken into my home and killed my servants to deprive me of the Proteus Storm and my life. Why? Why? No, no. Keep your seat. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Not until we have had a chance to talk, Mr. Trent. Leave us. So, what's to keep me from killing you right now and taking the tome? I think I'm more than a match for the two of you. On the other hand, Maybe I should even the odds. Oh. Oh. Ozu! Be sure, Mr. Trent. Do you really know with whom you are dealing? You are going to tell me what I want to know. About the tome, the order, everything. Whoa! Man, that was freaking intense. But, oh my god, Ozu's dead, but we, we got the Proteus Tomb. Now what? 
But can we make it back to the Kyoto base with the Proteus tomb intact? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.